It's been a long time, my friends. Hope you guys are doing well. Just out for a little morning walk and thought I would share a few things with you guys. Usually don't get too personal here on the channel, but a lot has happened in the year, in the past year, year and a half. And I just wanted to share some of the positive things that have come as a result of all the craziness. I don't want to sit here and play victim of, oh, this happened to me, that happened to me. Um, I just wanted to share the other side of it, um, you know, the positive side of it um, with you guys here. I know a lot of you have seen or watched me on the channel over the past, you know, five years. And in the background, I've noticed or I've shared some of the, the struggles I've had with cancer and whatnot. Um, I purposely try not to get too in depth with it. I just wanted to focus on bikes and you know, focus on uh, what I love to do rather than play victim, like I said. So with that being said, a lot of you guys are invested into the channel and into me and what I'm doing. And so I think it's only fair that I share the other side of it, like I said, the good side, the good outcome of all these things that have happened. Anyways, let's rewind to four years ago and just give you a quick little synopsis. So four years ago, I was diagnosed with leukemia at age 25. Huge shock to me and my family. I shared a little bit with you guys on the channel of that, how that whole process was, whatever. So I went through treatments, did the chemo route, and I was able to somewhat recover. I was healthy enough to do the things I wanted to do in life. I never really, really complained about all the side effects as that were a result of those treatments. But I knew that wasn't ever really the end all be all. I knew in the back of my mind that um, that was just kind of like a band-aid fix to everything. So then last year, 2021, a year ago in October, well actually let's rewind a little to prior to that. A couple big things happening in life. I got married, which was very very big thing, very special to me because my wife was my biggest supporter and the only reason why I was probably, I survived cancer the first time. Um, we met six weeks before I was diagnosed and she stuck with me the whole time and really pushed me to uh, get healthy again and find any way to stay healthy. So anyways, it was very special to share that day with her and that was a huge, huge win for me and her and then also in that same week i got help at the shop i brought on nick as part of the team and that was a huge step forward having a having a right hand man at the shop to help with everything and so two big things happening and once the dust kind of settled on all, all that i kind of came back to reality and i noticed um, throughout the summer of last year I just wasn't wasn't really feeling that great and I just never really complained about it much just continued on and I'm like well this is just the result of having cancer and going through those treatments and come October my wife and I had started to plan for having a family and that was always a huge goal of mine was to have kids and in October we found out we were expecting and then also in the first that same week within a week I found out I was diagnosed with leukemia again and I I mean I hate to share all these like or the negative things I just don't want to I'm just telling the story I don't want to be you know like I said play victim here but uh, this is just what happened so found out we're having a kid got di diagnosed with leukemia again and Honestly, I don't know. It wasn't really a shock to me because I knew, like I said earlier, we were just putting a band-aid on things and um, that was bound to happen again anyways because of like how I was feeling. And then when we did all the scans, we found out um, the tumor was there the whole time. I never really was cancer free throughout the, you know, 18, 19, 20, 21. <clears throat> so it just kind of like grew bigger to the point to where I noticed that I was sick again. I had a huge tumor on my chest right here. And the reason why I shared the other things with getting married and bringing on Nick was I was on such a high and you know, I felt like life was going just incredible at that point. 
and I kind of let off the gas pedal on some of the things I was doing at home treatment wise. Um, I was doing some holistic treatments at home and I just kind of let off the throttle on those things and ultimately I believe that's what caused the cancer to progress again to the point to where I needed treatments. I knew I wanted to go a different route this time so I couldn't get into the clinic that I wanted to and so I had to go to Seattle to uh, do like conventional treatments and I was there for a month and just kept getting worse and worse. We had a couple close calls and I said, this is it. We got to go do somewhere, go somewhere else. So we went to Mexico and that was honestly the best thing that ever happened. And it quickly summarized how that whole Mexico trip went because I'm actually going to make a separate video going more in depth on all that. I want to share a lot of the other details with you in a separate video, but I showed up there in Mexico basically needing a wheelchair. My wife was like dragging me through the airport to get there. In her mind, she thought I wasn't coming home. I wasn't going to make it. And so we got there. I'm just like, you know, a useless bag of skin and bones. And within the first week, I kid you not, this is mind blowing, but I went from basically just like hobbling around uh, no strength at all to being able to jog up five flights of stairs no problem because we were on the fifth floor I remember with by the end of that first week jogging up five flights of stairs being like damn dude this is this is working like I'm gonna make it out of here I'm gonna be able to make it back home and most importantly I'm gonna be able to see my first child I'm gonna be able to meet her so uh, that was kind of how Mexico went. I was there for three weeks, made a tremendous recovery, went home, continued to recover at home, and got back to work around uh, March, working on things around the shop, and slowly got up to speed again. I didn't want to rush it. I would say having a child on the way made such a huge difference with um, getting healthy again. There's no bigger motivation to wanting to stay alive and be healthy than having a child on the way. So that was another huge, huge thing, really positive thing that happened um, throughout the last year. And then fast forward to the summer. She was born in July and that was simply just incredible, life-changing all the things I, it's hard to explain until you go through it i'm sure a lot of you dads will understand that definitely changed my life there's been so many positive things that have happened as a result of that and then like i said started working on things around the shop in march and i decided around then we'll actually had other projects going on around the house that we had started last year and i wanted to finish those up we were building a new office which i'll show you guys you know when we get back to the house i wanted to finish that up so we had a nice um, home for the business so I could continue having an income and then also there were a few other things that I wanted to dive into a few other interests you could say things I wanted to explore outside of motorcycles because honestly since I was 12 years old my whole life was simply and just purely motorcycles and I thought this is going to be a good opportunity to explore those things so Construction was one of them. I've always been interested in building things, literally anything. And so we did this office build. That was a bunch of fun. Um, by the end of it, I was fried and I was like, not doing any more construction, which was a lie because we ended up building um, another shop. Uh, it's more like a two car garage. So that was fun to dive into and try something different. It made me appreciate working on bikes a lot more because that's what I'm good at. Um, I also got into, well, this is weird, but basically when our baby was born, I had this strong itch to, itch, yeah, this itch to work on vehicles rather than bikes. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of my Tacoma. I had a 2019 Tacoma. It was like my dream truck, everything I ever wanted. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to dump this thing. I'm gonna get rid of it and I'm gonna go buy two hunks of crap, two vehicles that 
are trashed and I found an older Tacoma in 1998 and well you know what I'll just show you these vehicles when we uh, head back here but I started working on these uh, vehicles and had a lot of fun with that again the same thing I'm like I'm not good at this I like working on bikes a lot more explored a few of these other interests and realized I really just love working on bikes that's really where my heart's at so anyways that is kind of the craziness that have happened that has happened over the last year year and a half honestly getting sick again was the greatest thing that could have happened to me personally um, obviously having a child and getting married those were huge but getting sick again changed the course of my life forever and like I said, I'm gonna go more in depth with that in a separate video, but basically it forced me to change my entire lifestyle. I had to look at everything I was doing and I found a lot of things I was doing that were pretty destructive physically, mentally, um, you know, literally everything from the food I ate, the water I drank, the air I breathed, um, the thoughts I had, the surroundings I have, you know, in the in the house in the shop all of that played a role in me getting sick um, the first time and the second time and so it was nice to reevaluate a lot of that and make the changes and now I feel better than ever I honestly feel better than I did pre-cancer um, you know five six years ago and I'm 29 now and um, I honestly feel like I'm freaking 18 again. I feel like, I don't know, I just have tons of energy. I feel stronger than ever. Mentally, that's been a, a huge shift too because I know like all the things I'm doing are helping pretty substantially and moving forward. Um, so many positive things have come as a result of getting sick. Yeah, we all have to go through some hard shit in life but it's all about how you take it i could have easily just gave in and let these things happen to me and thought oh this is just how it's destined to be for me um, i'm just you know a sick person there's something wrong with me but instead i decided to grab hold of it and i had it made up in my mind i'm gonna make this i'm gonna let this make me better i am going to become a better person as a result of this and I'm not going to just accept this cancer diagnosis that's not who I am that's not uh, my identity that's not that has nothing to do with me that is just a lesson for me to get better it's indication that I was being a little bitch and I needed to improve that's how I looked at it if you go in with that mindset if you go in with the mindset of this is happening for me and not to me, then anything that happens to you in life or that anything that happens, um, I guess I should say for you, it's going to end up being a positive thing. And I can attest to that. I had to go through, you know, challenging, challenging things. And I just, I, was not willing to give in and just let it let it define me I'm a, I'm who I want to be and I made that choice I just took action on it and let the rest follow things worked out pretty good and now here we are on the better side of it and I'm able to share these things with you and I hope sharing this stuff I mean my whole motivation behind sharing some of these challenging things with you guys is that no matter what happens to you in life you know besides actually dying if you're still breathing if there's still oxygen coming in to your lungs if your blood is still flowing you still have a chance you there's you can't say it's over until it's actually over there's always going to be hope for you and you just have to get it in your mind of what you want the end result to be and that even goes for things outside of you know health wise if you're wanting to 
build a massive business or you want wanting to build an awesome family or whatever it is that you want to do in life make it up in your mind of what you want to do and focus on that thing every single day just go all in and you'll you'll be amazed at what the the outcome is and for me I had no choice I had to go all in when I was sick every day I thought this is what I want my end result to be I want to be healthy I want to see my kid be born I want to spend time with my wife I want to spend time with my family and I want to be back doing what I love to do and that's working on bikes creating videos and sharing these things with you guys and now here we are I focused on that for uh, many months on end that's all I thought about and what you focus on is what your reality is gonna be so anyways not a motivational speaker but that's just my take on all of it but let's head back to the house and I'm gonna show you a few of the things that I was able to do over the past six months while I wasn't working on bikes some of the other things I dove into and maybe if the kiddo is up I'll uh, introduce you to little Miss Gemma here's a quick little tour of the things I've been working on this is the old Tacoma that I was telling you guys about this was just an absolute beater it was like an old work truck and I I've slowly been working on it it needs a lot more work but I added some nice wheels and tires tinted the windows it was wrecked in the front end I fixed all that added a couple things to spruce it up and I've got a lot more plans with it but it kind of reminds me of the very first truck I had so that's why I bought something like this it's so much fun just rallying around a, you know kind of a beater truck and not having to worry about it and also not having a truck payment and insurance is like ten dollars a month on this thing and then I also bought a another beater this is a 2017 WRX was also wrecked in the front been slowly working on this as well just got some more cosmetic work to do to it new hood and bumper other than that, it's pretty much ready to go. And this shop here, don't mind the f crappy paint job here. I'm gonna repaint this thing. This shop, I built this thing a couple months back. That's been really nice having a little extra storage. And speaking of that, I'll give you a little tour of the actual shop that I work out of this probably looks a lot different compared to what it looked like before last time you guys saw it so we added this upstairs built out the entire upstairs this used to be just all wide open up here and added in this is kind of a continuing project this is going to be a new master bedroom that Haley and I are working on right now. Got the RM250. This is the pipe and silencer. You can see that video on the channel. Just posted that one. Got a few new pieces of shop equipment. And also, I've been kind of building out some health stuff as well. Picked up an infrared sauna. That is super nice. Just, uh, sweat it out in there also building an ice bath just an old freezer from like 20 years ago but gonna be able to jump in that thing and get all iced up i'm gonna show you upstairs real quick also built out this grinding room you can see how nasty it gets that's like one day worth of grinding and you could imagine like how much of a mess all that would make in the rest of the shop if I didn't have this room up the stairs we go and this is the home for prime so Nick and I built this out over the past year we had a lot of breaks in between but 
Got all the printing equipment, all the products, overstock, all the good stuff. Love how this turned out. Also something that you guys might notice in the shop, I got rid of pretty much every paint and chemical and moved it outside to another building. Here in this shed, I put all the paints and chemicals. That way we are not breathing it in as we're working. And also the other part of this building is our house. This is split down the middle, house side on this side, shop side over here. So a lot of the chemical exposure has been uh, limited pretty severely by moving all that. So anyways, just an idea for you guys. If you can move a lot of the chemicals out of your shop into a separate building, that will cut down on the amount of uh, garbage that you're breathing in. Anyways, that's a little tour of what I've been up to around the house and shop here. We're slowly gonna chip away at the rest of the shop over the winter, get it all finished out. Nice and white walls and probably redo the concrete in here. Um, just make it look just top-notch little workshop. So what to expect on the channel over the coming months and years? I'm gonna get back to work on bikes full-time. That's, like I said, that's where my heart's at. And so I've already begun working on the RM250 again. There's a new video on the channel if you guys want to check it out. I did the pipe and silencer and I've also got a lot more projects in the works over the last six months. Um, I picked up a few really cheap deals off Facebook Marketplace. That's become like an addiction for me. I go on there like every day and if I see a deal, you know, like a $200 dirt bike, I'll go grab it or something. And so anyways, I've got lots of just random projects to work on past this RM. So um, I am really excited for the future of the channel and the future projects that I've got in store. But let's go inside and see if the kiddo's up. I want to want to show you how darn cute she is. Good morning, princess. She's always super happy in the mornings. Say hi to everyone. Say hello. She's three months old now. Just loving life. Super, super curious. Just got her head on a swivel all day. Look at her. her. Left to right, right to left. It's hilarious. Best thing ever. Bless you. <laughs> Is that your bye bye wave? All right. See you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all soon.